Okay, my friends, this is kind of serious. A lot of people have trouble with alcohol. They drink a lot of alcohol. A lot of people do it just casually and, you know, it's not a big deal. However, here's the problem. Alcohol and intestinal, intestinal microbiota, it kills the bacterial stuff in your body that protects you. This is from the uh, Alcohol Research Center, PubMed. Um, Pub and uh, it's about the gut-derived inflammation because of alcohol. Alright, so what does alcohol do? It damages all those different organs in your body. Literally all those different organs are at risk. And why? Because this alcohol molecule travels through all the blood back and forth to get cleaned out of your system. And when it does, it kills the bacteria in every one of those organs. Now, alcohol is a toxin. But what is a toxin? It only consists of the st same stuff you have in your body. You have tons of it. You have oxygen, you have carbon, you have hydrogen. That makes what they call an alkyl group. Whoops, I don't have it here. Well, here, hold on a second. Here it is, the alkyl group, okay, which is alkaline, um, alcohol. All right, here's what it is. Functional group of an organic chemical contains only carbon and hydrogen. You got so much carbon and hydrogen in you, why is this, why is this damage you? Why? Why is it alcohol only? I can tell you why. It's arranged in a certain structure that has a magnetic signature that attaches to some types of bacteria and kills it. The magnetic signatures in your body are the things that ho your bacteria homes in on to either attack and break it down or to break it down as food or to kill it or to um, create mucus and all that stuff. It's, it's a, there's a bacterial magnetic, they call it magnetobacteria now, and they know what to attach to. Well, in this case, you've got carbon and hydrogen in, in these chains, and they attack the good bacteria. So now your organ is under stress because it's not protected by that good bacteria anymore. Well, you know, there's going to be missing bacteria. Let's put it that way. It's not going to be completely wiped out. But that's why it's a long-term progressive chronic disease. So is the irritable bowel syndrome. So is 99% of the diseases. And they get worse and worse and worse. And then you get cancer and you get stage 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you're dead. All right, so the takeaway is if you're going to drink, you should probably better take some pretty good probiotics. <laughs> and then maybe it won't hurt you so much. But... It is an invasion, and it's inflammation. That's what causes the inflammation. Anytime you have inflammation, it means you're being attacked. It's as simple as that. It's just, there's no mysteries here. All right, you see this article? It says, meet your newfound, meet your interstitial, a newfound organ. And this gets right below your skin, and it is on the membranes of every organ in your body, and it houses the bacteria. If that bacteria is dead in there, or it's being killed and assaulted over and over and over by alcohol or whatever the toxin is, and it can be anything, if, if it kills that bacteria in here, you're open to invasion. You need this thing saturated with the bacteria. That is your immune system. And they know this now. So this is just brand new. All into the digestive tract, everywhere, skin surface, it completely fills everything in your body. And it is the layer between you and the killers. If you don't have the, your layer in there to fight back, you are going to be damaged. And anything that comes around here, if it's a toxin, It'll kill off some of the bacteria, absolutely. Because you can have toxins all the time, but they should be able to replicate themselves and come back and be fine. That's their job. But if you're under assault day and night, day and night, day and night, day and night, especially people that drink alcohol a lot, drink a lot every day, pretty much. You know, I was in that realm long ago, and one day I just said to my wife, ah, this, that's, um, I drank beer. I said, that's it, I'm done. And I, I never had another drink since then. It, but I also think it might have had something to do with the time I started into really looking into probiotics and, and the health of your internal system. Because that makes you run like a clock. 
if you're not right, you maybe you want to drink too much just because your your stomach lining isn't good, or maybe you want to eat too much. I mean, all those things are absolutely for certain. Your mood is affected if you don't have the right probiotics in your body. Everything is affected. So I would flush my body with probiotics. To be honest with you, if you're an alcoholic, you drink too way too much. You think you could, if you in your mind you say I'm drinking too much. I would take a bunch of probiotics on a regular basis, two three times a day, and see if you if you change your attitude, your your the way you think. And you may be able to just go, forget about the the booze. Don't need it. That could very well happen.